welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. Today we're going to explore Google Street View uh, and how to uh, mine 360 images out of uh, Google Maps. Um, but before we get started, I just want to do a little reminder about journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, it's housed uh, at the Society of Professional Journalists. You can access it off spj.org. Uh, it's organized uh, by all kinds of topics uh, and tools that are inter of interest uh, to journalists. Uh, one of the most popular is our public records page, uh, where you can go in and open it up, find one of the subtopics you're interested in here, uh, and you have access to all kinds of free and a few paid uh, websites uh, and tools. We also embed training videos in here as well, so you can go in and explore those. Uh, we have a newsletter that's linked off the upper right hand corner that's free, it comes out every other Tuesday. Uh, and of course our training video section uh, of which you're watching one right now. Uh, we have uh, just over 70 videos in there on all kinds of uh, different uh, tools and resources, everything from phone editing, uh, video editing apps on your phone, uh, to desktop tools for uh, creating COVID-19 dashboards. So we've got uh, a lot of resources there for you. Um, so journalisttoolbox.org, uh, keep it in mind. Uh, one of the pages we always have linked off the home page is mapping and geocoding. And uh, so we're going to explore Google Maps today and uh, those 360 images. Uh, but you can go into the uh, mapping and geocoding page and find all kinds of uh, mapping tools in here, um, just as a little reminder. So the tool we're going to work with is google.com slash maps. Um, this link, as well as these two examples that I have here, uh, are linked out of our description for this video. So you can just click on those links or just type in google.com slash maps. And when you do, it'll take you to the Google Maps interface that you've probably used many times to find a location or direction somewhere. Um, uh, you can type in an address up here uh, in the upper left. If you type in a building name, it will just give you uh, uh, static photos, uh, just regular photos. Uh, but if you type in an address, it will give you a Google Street View image. So I'm going to type in 1060 West Addison Street here in Chicago. It's the address right outside of Wrigley Field. Um, and a picture always pops up along with the option for direct option for directions and other things here. Um, as you can see, it's got a little drops a little pinpoint into the location. Um, uh, if I click on this image up here, and a lot of people don't know this exists, but if you can click on this little image up here in the upper left, as long as you've got a street address in here, up will pop a 360 image. And I can look and see the most current image of a 360 outside of Wrigley Field. Okay, and this one uh, comes from November 2021, so you know it's fairly recent, just a couple months old. Um, uh, the currency of these, uh, you know, depends on the location. If you're in a rural area, it might be every two to three years you get a Google Street View image. Um, Google Street View images are delivered a couple of different ways. Um, uh, the Google uh, truck, the van that will go by with a little camera on the top of it. Um, also, people that shoot in the Google Street View app and make them public, um, those are available in here and searchable. Um, also, uh, there are uh, people that ride around on the bicycles that record for Google. Uh, backpacks uh, they have as well to get into alleys and other areas. Um, they also have some robots that do some climbing as well. Um, so once you're into uh, Google Street View, you can see the 360 image here and can control it by holding down your mouse and, and spinning around. On your phone, you would press your finger uh, down and mo move it. Um, to uh, access uh, uh, and embed this, uh, uh, you can link to it up here. The link is right up here. Or you can hit the three little dots next to the address. Uh, and it says share or embed image. Okay. It gives you the hot link here or the embeddable code here. It's an iframe. And what's nice about it is you can embed it into a page. It gives you the address right here too. And this is 3600 North Clark. It's a corner of Clark and Addison. This is Addison Street that runs right here. So you can see as I spin around in here, there's a big hotel over here, uh, climbing gym with a Taco Bell in it. Here's the Cubby Bear. And this is what it looks like today. This is a big uh, apartment complex with a lot of retail on the first floor, uh, CVS Pharmacy that just went in about a, a year ago. Uh, so that's what it looks like today, this corner does. But you can go back in time too. So let's say you're doing a story, you know, maybe a building burned down in your community and yeah, you need to see what the, the image looked like before you know, the fire occurred. 
you can hit this little clock up here in the upper uh, uh, lower left corner of the uh, location tab and it will give you a little slider here and we've got November 2021 and each one of these little tabs is a different year. So if I clicked on this one, I could see what this looked like when it was all under construction. They were still building some areas around Wrigley. Um, they were doing a lot of work out here. You know, this building had just gone up. I can also go back in time a little further and see what it looked like in 2015. And this big apartment complex wasn't there. Wrigley looked a lot different. And as you spin around here, you see the cubby bear. You see there was a Taco Bell where the climbing gym was, and there was no hotel here. It was a uh, store and a McDonald's and some other things. So you can really have some fun with this going back and, and looking at what an area used to look like. You know, here it was in 2014. Here's what it looked like in 2007. Um, you know, just a big empty parking lot in a McDonald's. You know, this area looked much different. The Cubs offices weren't here. It was a donut shop and a car wash and player parking. Player media parking used to be here too. So the area looked a lot different. And again, you can embed these. You can just grab the embed code this way. Gives you a link or embed code here. And again, this is helpful for, you know, uh, doing historical uh, type stories. You know, what did an area used to look like before all the development? Uh, what did it look like, you know, before um, the fire occurred or flooding or, you know, tornado or whatever? Uh, this is, it gives you uh, some good 360 images. Any of these images in Google Street View uh, are uh, public domain. Um, uh, Google Earth uses uh, their own tools to do this, so everything's public domain. If you're ever concerned about it, go to google.com slash permissions, uh, and it has all the legal uh, uh, language in there. But basically what they uh, provide here is uh, for public use, uh, so you can take it and embed it. I've got a couple of examples here that you'll be able to click on, uh, and the, they come from Lee Enterprises, a couple of really good little examples of uh, how to use this tool. Uh, they did a series of stories on bridges and bridge repairs. Um, and they dropped in videos in here. They have mapping. Uh, but they also have some street view uh, images of what some of the uh, uh, some of the bridge areas look like. And, and here's one here um, that was uh, about to go undergo repair. And they're showing some of these other bridges and the, the conditions they're in. Really good use of it. Um, you know, this is a, a very rural area. You know, a lot of people might not be familiar with this area and with this bridge. Uh, it's a good way to drop it in here uh, and give people a, a, a physical uh, image of uh, what it looks like. And they, they did some overhead drone shots and things like that too, but the 360 really gave it some, some nice scale. So that's all I have for now. Just remember journalisttoolbox.org. Uh, the mapping and geocoding page has tools like this and many others. Uh, and we'll see you next month with another video.